how they do they? And welcome back to the channel. So a bit different today because thanks to um, Photo Speed, been set a nice little selection here. Look, so yeah. I have just got in from work, so it's, yeah, nice surprises. So, big shout out to Photo Speed. They reached out to me to give these little little test out for them, so yeah. So, so what we'll do, a bit, bit of a change, we'll, I'll print a couple of um, images off from this week's vlog. So, the one at the um, Goic Stock Waterfall, we'll do that. And a couple of images I'll print off, and uh, we'll see what they come out like, so yeah. And uh, once again, Photo Speed, thank you very much. Yeah, it's on the um, Photo Speed website now, so I'm going to download the um, ICC profiles. I think we're going to do the, um, the signature cutting edging in a matte to start with, and then we'll do a gloss one as well on this one. So, yeah, so I'm scrolling down now onto the support page. Did do where are we? There we are, printer profiles. Just download the, the generic ones. And then my printer is a Canon Pro 10, so we'll click on there for the Canon Pro 10 Canon. It decides to do what it wants this laptop. So when it comes up, it's got all your fine art prints and stuff like that on there. So I'll just download the right one. There you go, platinum cutting etching, 305. That's what we're going to do first. So we'll download that one. And we are going to do the legacy gloss as well. So I'll just download that one as well. And then I'll open them up and I'll load up um, Lightroom. And we'll take it from there. Right, I've now downloaded the ICC profiles. This is the first image we're going to do. We're going to do this on the, the cotton etching paper, a nice black and white. So it should take to it really well. So. Hopefully it should find, let's go to other, there we go, platinum cotton etching, so it has found them straight away. Print that on, it should give us a bit of a print preview first, of what it's going to look like. So it is quite a, a nice black and white one, this is a goit stock from last week's vlog. So yeah, that's what it should be doing, so yeah. We'll set this print in and um, I'll come back to you once it's printed off and we'll see what the results are. I just loaded the, print, the paper into the printer now. I've used Photo Speed before, mainly for the panoramic images that I do with the drone. So yeah, we'll set this off going now and we'll see what it's like when it's done. Right, this is the first one that's off now. This is the cotton etching, and I must admit, it's a lovely heavyweight paper, is this? There's no sheen to this whatsoever. It is just a very textured paper, so this waterfall image and the stones at the bottom end there, yeah, the water, it really does bring it out. It's, you could just, actually it feels like you could just touch it as such, so yeah. A nice heavyweight paper, is this? For black and white, it's like this, yeah, I don't think it'd be are good for a colour unless it's a, a woodland image where the bark on the trees and stuff like that would do it so yeah it's not a, a nice specialist paper i think this one so yeah what we'll do i'll get set up with the um, the next print which will be a gloss one so i'll do that one up and um we'll set that one going and we'll see what they like side by side Uh, this is the next image we're going to do. This is on the Legacy Gloss. So, and obviously these two images are from Sunday's vlog. So, nice and fresh in his mind. So there's a little bit of texture on these rocks at the bottom. Lead you into the goit stock at the back background. So, let's have a look at this. Management is all set to, they see at the bottom right and cornish down here, Legacy Gloss. Oh, that comes up very green, so yeah. Let's have a go with this one. And um, see that coming off and we'll put them side by side. 
Well, this is the Legacy Gloss one now, which looking at this, it's got a nice texture, even though it's a gloss, it has got a nice texture to it as well. You can see the light coming off, bouncing off there for the gloss effect. But the rocks, this bottom corner here, it has really has come out really well as this. And the greens are really punchy. I know I use a Fuji XT2. We all know Fuji loves the greens, but this is just, yeah, it's picked up lovely as this. This could be my new paper, go to paper, because this is, it's nice and heavy, proper quality feel to it as this. But yeah, everything about this, it's just picked it up lovely. Even the textures on it, yeah, absolutely spot on as this. So side by side, two, two do, totally different papers. I think the cotton etching is definitely for a black and white. But yeah, this legacy gloss. Excuse the like, so I'm in the kitchen at the minute. We're just finishing work. So yeah, that's yeah, really has picked up well as this. So yeah, well really really am impressed with that. The especially the, the legacy gloss, so thank you Photo Speed for reaching out for this. So thank you very much. Um, if you've enjoyed this vlog, please give us a like and subscribe. And I might even do it again later. You never know. I might even do a bit of a giveaway for you with these prints that I've been doing. So next week, I'll probably do the same again. So thanks for watching and keep an eye out. You never know. There could be a giveaway for you. Thank you very much. See you again next time.